Okay, so this problem is a little trickier than usual. Um, we have a limit to infinity, but we have a square root. And uh, our trick remains the same for these, though. We look for the highest power, and we divide numerator and denominator by it. Um, this time, well, it looks like it's the highest power is 6, but because it's inside of a square root, it's actually 6 divided by 2, or 3, so the uh, the powers are the same on the numerator and the denominator. Okay, so that means I'm going to divide by x to the third. Now, you have to be careful with the square root. You can't bring the x to the third inside quite yet. Okay, so we have to wait a little bit. Okay, so I'm dividing by x to the third. Okay, now, this guy right here, I want to bring the x cubed inside of the root. But you have to be careful, so I'm going to do this on the side right here. Um, x to the third you can say that it's equal to the square root of x to the sixth. Okay, now you have to be very, very, very careful here. The reason why you have to be careful is because here the limit's going to negative infinity. So you have to make sure that these two, when you uh, change it from this notation to this notation, you have to make sure that the signs are going to stay the same. So like for example, this one, since x is going to negative infinity, this guy is going to always be negative. But when you have a negative number and you raise it to the sixth power, that's going to be positive, and you get the square root of that, that's going to be positive as well. So that means that to change it to negative, you have to add a negative sign to it. And so that's why when I rewrite this, when I bring the x cubed inside as x to the sixth, using this uh, conversion, I have to take the negative sign outside this one. Okay, and here these guys simplify, so I'm going to have 1 plus 1 over x to the third. Okay, so let's do a little bit more simplifying. These cancel, one of these cancel with one of those, and we're left with 5. So let me rewrite what we have left. We have the limit as x approaches negative infinity of negative square root of 9 minus 1 over x to the fifth all over 1 plus 1 over x to the third. Okay, now these guys are going to 0, 0. And so the only thing that's left over is negative the square root of 9 or negative 3. And see, if you wouldn't have done this uh, little conversion, you would have gotten 3, which is actually the wrong answer. So you have to be very careful. Okay, now, now this problem is... Uh, more difficult because usually when we were taking limits to infinity we have a fraction and with fractions we can use our special little trick and so in this case our first goal is going to be to make it into a fraction and so remember usually when we have square roots we multiply by the conjugate and so this seems like a good idea for us now multiply numerator and denominator 
by the kanji. Okay, so if we multiply all this out, we would get, in the denominator, we just get this guy by itself, x minus square root of x squared plus 2x. And on the numerator, we're going to get x squared minus x squared minus 2x. So it's x squared minus this entire inside. Okay, so let's do a little simplifying here. And let me rewrite it. So we have minus 2x over x minus square root of x squared plus 2x. Okay, so now we look at the highest power. Notice we have square root of x squared, so the highest power is going to be just x. So let's divide top and bottom by that. Alright, so we have minus 2x over x. divided by x over x minus square root and let me do the bring the in step right here so just like in the previous problem we want to bring in the x inside of the square root so we can say that x is equal to x squared, but notice that I'm going to negative infinity. And these numbers are going to be negative, so that means that I have to add in a negative sign right there. Okay, so when I bring in the x squared, I have to add in a negative sign, but then together with this negative, this turns into a positive. So that's really important because that's going to change the, the entire problem. Okay, so now if we simplify, we're going to get uh, negative 2 on top. 1 plus this is the square root of 1 plus 2 over x. So let's rewrite it. So we have the limit as x goes to negative infinity of negative 2 over 1 plus the square root of 1 plus 2 over x. And notice that this guy is going to 0 and so in the end um, I get that I'm going to, the numerator is negative 2 over uh, 1 plus 1 is 2. So this is equal to 1. Sorry, negative 1. 